the name of Jesus Christ, for we are grateful that it is by his blood and his sacrifice that we are here. Listen, I want to share with you the word of the Lord, which says, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Yeah. All ye lands, serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with singing. The word of the Lord says, know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he who made us and not we ourselves. It is for this reason that we bring to you hymns and harmony. You are getting ready to go on a journey where we have an opportunity to intimately worship the Lord in thanksgiving. Listen, right now, wherever you are, if you're in your living room, if you're in your home, if you're on your job, I want you to grab all of the people that you love, bring them close to you, and I want you to have an opportunity to ask them what are they thankful for. I want you to find the good in your life. Find the things that you are most thankful for. Begin to discuss them together. Love on each other. Gather around because we are getting ready to have a worship experience unlike any other. The word of the Lord says, for everything that God created is good and nothing is to be thrown away. Nothing is to be refused, but to re be received in thanksgiving. And tonight, that is exactly what we are getting ready to do. We are going before the Lord with thanksgiving. Take it up, take it up. 
Bible declares that the great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And so we send high praise to God because he's been so faithful. God, we glorify you and magnify you. We lift you high. We exalt your name above both the heavens and the earth because you're a great God and you deserve our best praise. I don't know where you're watching from, but take a few moments and give him what you know he deserves. Hallelujah. Woo. You deserve the glory. Boy, you I'm trading my shame And I'm laying it down For the joy of the Lord And I'm trading my sickness Trading my pain I'm laying, laying it down For the joy of the Lord Help me all I'm trading my sorrow I'm laying it down, I'm laying it down for the joy. 
Every day I have another yes. One more time. Yes, Lord, yes. Every day I have another no. Man. Yes, Lord, yes. Every day I have another yes. Help me. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, yes. Every day I have Every day, every day I have yes, 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 every day, every day I have yes, 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 every day I have Everybody. 
just say that. Come on. And my answer will be yes, Lord. to you guys simply because you are ill. Thanksgiving reminds me of being at home, down south with the family, eating real good. The smell of my grandmother's homemade apple pie. I can smell it and I can taste it right now. My mother's peach cobbler. She makes peach cobbler like nobody else in this world. Thanksgiving reminds me of family banter. There is nothing like the family banter that goes down at Thanksgiving, all right? 
it's different because you have family that you can relate to. They know the stories. We reminisce together. We talk about games that only we know about, experiences that only we know about. And uh, it just gives us an opportunity just to reflect and to be thankful. I am most thankful for, um, this is going to sound cliche, but this past year, God has really done a lot of great things for me. So I'm absolutely grateful for God and all of the opportunities that he's allowed me to have. So I just lost my mom. And uh, I realized that life is short, and so I take time to thank God for everything that I have and just having a chance to get it right and to have another chance at grace and mercy. It's just a lot, but overall, I thank God for Jesus. You know, this year I am thankful that the Lord still reveals new truths. Growing up in church, uh, you, you read the Bible, you learn scriptures, and the beauty is like the more you lean into his word, as loud as life gets, as wild as the winds blow, the more that you lean into it, the more he'll speak to you through it. And, you know, I just found just richness in it amid loss, amid um, heartbreak, amid questions. Um, God was faithful to just keep speaking. And while other people believe that he stopped speaking while other believe that he doesn't exist um an empty grave <laughs> is there to prove my savior lives i'm grateful for the strength of jesus christ tragedies are a commonplace oh, All kinds of diseases People are slipping away The economy's down People can't get enough pay
so much for us. We yes. can't tell it all. He's so good. He's so consistent. He's so faithful. Even you watching at home, can you just lift up your hands and tell God, I thank you. I thank you, Father. Father, we give you praise. We give you honor for it is due unto you. We're so thankful. We have a heart of thanksgiving, Father. A heart of thanksgiving. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. Yes, he is good. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord.
as we pour out our gratitude God that you would be glorified that you would stir us oh God that you would stir up our gifts oh God that you would quicken our spirit man's oh God that you would allow us to walk in your forgiveness to walk in your grace uh, walk in your mercy walk in your love oh God God that we may be like that tree planted by the rivers of water oh God for the word declares, blessed is the man that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sits in the seat of the scornful, nor stands in the path of sinners. But God, we delight ourselves in you. God, we lay hold on your gospel. We lay hold on your, on your grace, on your mercy, oh God. God, nothing shall persuade us. Nothing shall take us from your love. Not height, not depth, not things present it not things to come uh, nor any angels nor any creature oh God uh, oh God we stand in your word God uh, knowing that we're not natural beings uh, but we are spiritual beings oh God uh, oh God we don't fight this war in our mind uh, we don't fight this war in our mind with carnality uh, but we fight in the spirit oh God uh, we fight by giving you thanks uh, we fight by giving you praise uh, we fight by glorifying you uh, we fight by by lifting you up, oh God, for you're able to do exceeding abundantly above all we could ever ask or think, and it's according to your power, oh God. Oh God, we lay our strength in you, we lay our hope in you. Oh God, Holy Spirit, activate in us now, quicken us, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. You be glorified, you be glorified, you be glorified, even in this. Even in this, uh, this is your day, uh, this is your moment, uh, this is your hour, uh, do what you want to do, uh, move how you want to move, uh, shake this very foundation, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, shake us oh God, uh, make us oh God, uh, mold us oh God, uh, like only you know how, God of our son, uh, like only you can, like only you know how, God, uh, like only you know how, God, uh, Move by your spirit. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. We give you glory. Come on, give him glory. Open your mouth, give him glory. Lift your hand, give him glory. Whatever you need from the Lord. Whatever you need from the Lord. He can endow you right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. 
right now. He can strengthen you now. He can strengthen you now. He can strengthen you now. If you lack wisdom, he'll give it. If you lack peace, he'll give it. If you lack joy, he'll give it. Oh, no good thing will he withhold from you. No good thing will he withhold from you. No good thing will he withhold from you. All we need is you. You're our only desire. You're our only desire. And we love on you. We love on you. We are thankful. We are grateful. Because you are.
you know you've been good to me. He kept you January, February, March, April, May. We're down to the last quarter of the year. And I believe you can testify with me that God has been good. I wish you could just type that on the screen. As a matter of fact, gather your family, gather your children, gather your grandchildren, and just start praising God in your home. Hey, because you've been good too. All right, we got to get out of here. Shout it out loud. You've been good to me. Type it on the screen. Everybody say it. You've been good. Baby, can you open up your mouth? I feel something breaking right now. They're both shot. I tell you to open up your mouth and give him praise like you know he's been good. God, you've been good. You kept my family. You kept me well. You kept me healthy. You kept our great church. You kept our pastor. You kept my mother. You kept my father. You know he's been good. I almost lost it in my mind this year. But guess what? God has been Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. When I think, I thank. You got to think about what God has done for you, how he's made a way, the doors that he's opened, the possibilities that he's released. When you think about that, you have to thank him. Abraham Lincoln said, please and thank you will take you so much further than degrees and pedigree. Can you imagine? that my sixth grade teacher was right. Your attitude dictates your altitude. What you think about right here will prepare you for where you're going up there. I am so filled with gratitude for how God has blessed our ministry. To know that one million people have been fed through the pandemic at the hands of the King's Table. To imagine that uh, the Lord would bless us to cut our debt in half. I am thankful that we have just opened a state-of-the-art clinic. I'm thankful that we're getting ready to break ground on 150 mini houses. I am thankful that the first quarter of the year, we're going to be opening up the Birthright Cultural Arts Center. Do you have a reason to thank him? you have a reason to be a grateful? you have a reason uh, to give him praise and adulation? Praise is thanksgiving. It's got nothing to do with turkey or ham or stuffing or cranberry sauce. It's about the condition of the heart. And so now I want you to express your thanks unto God, not just for what he's done through you and for you and with you and around you, but for what he's doing in your church. Can you join me in collective corporate thanksgiving by sowing? I want you how to partner with us so that we can give our thanks unto God. Can I challenge you how to give a seed of 125 on this Thanksgiving? As close to 125 as you possibly can. Of the lower thirds will give you the prompts as to the platforms that are available for our giving. If you don't have 125, don't feel bad about it. Give God thanks for what you do have. So if you don't have 125, give him glory for the 55. Give him praise for the 25. It's not equal sacrifice. It's equal giving. And that equal giving has got to be equal thanksgiving. There are some people who are excited about being in an SUV. There are other people who are elated. They got enough tokens to get on the subway. Whatever's going to get you there, give him thanks. We've sung it. We've shouted about it. We've danced about it. Now let's give like we're thankful. I'm thankful to be your pastor, and I'm thankful to celebrate this season with you. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. See, of the goodness of God. Just one time around, everybody say, all my life. Come on, see. All my life you have been faithful. Come on, raise it. Even in your home, say it. All my life you have been so. So good. With every breath, With every breath that I am made, I will sing of 
Here at New Birth, we are an intergenerational ministry. And in this final segment of Hymns and Harmony, we just wanted to slow it down just a little bit. And we wanted to talk to all ages. And we wanted just to sing a few hymns tonight. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, hey. 
mighty. Yes, the Lord our God, so near the the Lord our God, He is wonderful. Oh, praises be to the King of kings, yes, the Lord our enjoyed this worship encounter it's been like a warm hug and whether you're gathered with family and friends for a feast or you're solo and your cupboards are bare we want you to know that God loves you he's right there with you he's in the room he's in the space with you and out of all of the eight billion people in the world he created this moment just for you to grow in relationship with him to get to know him better and to receive a warm hug from him. Tonight, we offer Christ to you. He's the reason that we've come together to say thanks. In Psalm 107 verse one, it says, we're to give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love endures forever. God loves you and he wants you to be a part of his family. All you have to do is repent. Tell the Lord that you know that you're a sinner. You haven't done everything right. I haven't done everything right. But his mercy, his love endures for you tonight. All you have to do is pray. A prayer like this. Lord, I repent. I ask you to come into my heart to change my life. I want to be in relationship with you. God will do it. He'll turn your life around and make everything brand new. And you can really Praise Him from a heart of thanksgiving. such an incredible encounter tonight. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord filled your home with worship and praise as we went before Him. I pray that your heart was filled with thanksgiving and that you are grateful for every single thing in your life. Listen, on behalf of our senior pastor, none other than Dr. Jamal Harrison Bryant, we pray that you enjoyed hymns in harmony and that your life is better and greater as a result of it. Enjoy your holiday season.
bottles of my tears when I cry He loves the plans that he has for me I know, I know he's walking with me and talking with me There's no secret what God can do What he did for others he would do for you Better, better. He's gonna make it better 